Now, with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate, here's meteorologist Eric Zarnitz. Well, today we saw a nice dry day, a cloudy day, but hey, at least it was dry. Give us all a chance to clean up just a little bit. Plenty of snow still on the rooftops, and as you just saw, Cincinnati crews still out and about cleaning things up, and that's great news because it does look like we're going to stay quiet as we head into your work week. The only problem is it's also going to stay cold. Right now, 31 degrees. In fact, those 30s feel like a sauna compared to what we were dealing with the last week or so. But once you factor in the winds out of the northwest at 9 miles an hour, it feels more like 23. And both of those numbers, you'll consider them warm by tomorrow morning. 27 right now in Batesville, 30 in Walton, 30 in Loveland, 29 in Hillsborough, and 32 degrees right now in Peebles. What's happening is we have high pressure settling in across the area. But you can start to see a little bit of snow down to our south and west. In fact, this storm system here is taking a very similar path to the one that brought us all that snow on President's Day. The one difference is this area of high pressure. It's pretty much going to block the northern plains in the Ohio Valley from seeing any of that snow. So instead of snow, we get a lot of cold temperatures. Tomorrow morning, we'll start off at about 1 degree. Our wind chills right around 10 to 15 degrees below zero. During the afternoon, we warm up to 15. We'll see a mix of sunny clouds throughout the day and then a quick cooling as we head into tomorrow night. So, yeah, 15 degrees, not very warm. You're going to want to bundle up. And of course, the scarf, hat, gloves, the whole nine yards to get ready for that morning commute and to head off to school tomorrow if you even have school. As you take a look at future cast, you can see we clear things out tonight. Tomorrow morning, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. During the day, we should see most of, most of the area should see quite a bit of sunshine, but we could be dealing with a few low-level clouds from time to time. And then as we head into Tuesday, here's our next Arctic boundary coming down from the north, which will give us a few more clouds and what could be some record-breaking low temperatures as we head on through the week. So your forecast tonight, one degree clouds break our wind chill between about 10 to 15 degrees below zero. After a cold start, we warm up to a cold afternoon, a high of just 15, partly cloudy again to mostly sunny skies. A pretty nice day here. Your seven-day forecast, record lows possible on Tuesday morning. As we head into Thursday, we'll see a high temperature of 18 degrees. Again, another record possibly breaking Friday morning. And then take a look at next weekend. We have a mix in there for Saturday as temperatures start to climb. And then by Sunday, 45 degrees. We're getting closer to spring. We'll see more of these warmer temperatures. And I think these big cool downs will be shorter in duration. We just have to give it a few more weeks. Elise?